Hey scientists, let's take a look at mixtures and solutions. A mixture is when you have two or more substances that are combined together and they all keep their original properties. If you threw all of your shirts and shorts into one of your dresser drawers, that would be a really great example of a mixture. All of your shirts and shorts kept all of their original properties. Most of the time, mixtures can easily be separated. Let's say you mix sand with a bunch of iron filings. It'd be really easy to separate with a large magnet. The magnet would pull out all of the iron filings and leave just the sand behind. If you had different sized items in your mixture, you could also use a filter or a strainer. Let's say you mix sand and gravel together. You could separate your mixture back out by pouring it through a strainer. All of the sand would fall through, leaving behind just the gravel. Sometimes the only way to separate out a mixture is by using tweezers or your hands to individually separate everything out of the mixture. This would probably work best with our example of our dresser drawer and your clothing. Solutions are a type of mixture. The big difference is that in a solution, one of the substances dissolves in the other. In a solution, the substances will be spread out evenly. A really great example of a solution is when you pour salt into water and it looks like it disappears. The water remains clear and the salt remains salty tasting, but it dissolves in the water. Another example would be if you make hot cocoa this winter. You add the hot cocoa powder to the hot water and mix them to form a solution as the powder dissolves into the water. Solutions can also be separated though. The easiest way is to heat up the solution and evaporate all of the liquid water out, which will leave behind the original substance. In this case, that would leave the hot cocoa powder. Sometimes though, you end up with a combination of things that are mixed together. Let's say you have sand, sugar, and gravel that you have mixed into your water and you want it removed. The sugar will dissolve while the sand and gravel will just sink to the bottom. You could easily separate all four of these substances by filtering the sand and gravel out of the water using a water filter. You can then pass the sand and gravel mixture through a strainer to remove the gravel from the sand. To separate out the water and the sugar, you can boil the solution until the water evaporates, leaving you with the sugar left at the bottom. This is a great way to clean water for drinking. You just want to make sure you use an upside down bowl to collect any condensation and boom, now you have perfectly clean drinking water. Different factors can affect the speed at which substances dissolve, like stirring, applying heat, or breaking up substances into smaller pieces before mixing them together. These will all greatly increase the rate at which a substance dissolves. Let's look at a question. 